why is mineral mineral status important? Well, a lot of people might have heard, you know, about this mechanism that it could explain why even very low level of human made EMFs, even, you know, at the levels that we are exposed to, they can impact human cells. That was always the, whether it's human cells or cells of, you know, other, uh, other biological beings, there was always a question, what is it impacting on the cell, right? It's not, it's not overheating our tissue because we're talk talking about effects that are happening below the thermal threshold. So it doesn't cause this overheating sensation. And yet, there's something on the cell that can pick up the signal. Uh, Dr. Martin Paul has been uh, very popular in this field talking about the voltage-gated calcium channels. You have certain channels on a cell that are voltage-gated. It says it's in the name voltage, that's electricity. So they respond to a change in electricity in the cell or in the cell environment to open or close. So simply, you know, it's a little door the way I envision it with my really non-biology uh, expert hat. I picture just a door that is opening and closing based on voltage. The thing is, it's not just the calcium channels. There's a work of uh, Dr. Dimitris uh, J. Panagopoulos, and that's a mouthful, but you're going to find an article I did with him uh, recently where I, I sent him some written questions and he answered them. And basically, he's, I think, the world's number one uh, biophysicist on the top topic of the biological effects of EMFs and what he says is that you know there are multiple types of different mineral channels at uh, on the our cells and all of them are impacted in one way or another so there is the calcium channels but also sodium and potassium channels are also impacted although in different ways so all the biophysics are explained in his uh, latest papers especially the one that he published in 2021, uh, and I can link to the 2021 paper. It's a it's a very important one for let's say for <laughs> maybe like the one person that is interested in reading uh, deep biophysics. Who knows? Maybe this person is on the call right now. So. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that just focusing on calcium, which has been something that has been proposed by some people like, well, should we block calcium channels or it, it, it won't work because the biology and how our biology responds to these EMFs is more complex than just calcium channels. It's a whole set of different minerals. So what, it, what makes more sense is prudent avoidance to avoid this disruption of your calcium and potassium and sodium channels, but making sure that all of your minerals that you don't just use for EMF resilience, you use them for everything when it comes to your health, right? So you have to balance your minerals and Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre-recorded. is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Master class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.